Ever have a friend suggest a movie to go see, but you responded, I'm not in the mood for that. What did you mean? Was it a scary movie and you were in the mood to laugh? Was it a sad movie, but you wanted some action? If so, then you already know about genres. A genre is a broad term that translates from the French to mean kind or type. In entertainment, this can translate to horror, romance, science fiction, etc. In general, these types differ for all sorts of reasons, from the actions in their plots to the feelings they elicit from the audience. However, in literature, there are some more defined genres. It is important to know which genre a piece of work falls into because the reader will already have certain expectations before he even begins to read. Genre, in broad terms, refers to any works that share certain characteristics. If enough characteristics are in common, then the pieces are said to be in the same genre. In literature, there are four main genres to help the reader focus their expectations for the piece, though these genres can be broken down even further. A main literary genre is poetry. All poems share specific characteristics. For example, poetry is written in lines and stanzas instead of sentences and paragraphs. Some poems follow strict rules as to the number and length of lines and stanzas, whereas many poems are much more free-flowing. Most poetry is abundant in figurative language, using devices like a simile, metaphor, hyperbole, onomatopoeia, alliteration, rhyme, and much more. Poetry can claim an emphasis on imagination, emotions, and heartfelt ideas. Poetry is usually shorter than the other genres, but some poems are classified as epic poetry, which is long narrative poetry chronicling heroic deeds and serious subject matter. For example, John Milton's epic poem, Paradise Lost, focuses on Satan's fall from grace and his falling pursuit of revenge. Poetry, however, is not the only genre that can utilize figurative language. Similarly, fiction, which is any work written in prose that is not real, can also use elaborate figurative language. However, fiction is much more structured than poetry. It must be written in sentences and paragraphs, with all the proper punctuation and grammar, which makes it prose. Usually, fiction is broken up into chapters as well. Since it is based on the imagination, the subject matter in fiction works can be nearly anything. Fiction can take place in the present day, the future, or the past. It can incorporate the most fantastical ideas or follow in everyday life. Some examples of works of fiction are legends, folk tales, fairy tales, short stories, and any novels. For example, the popular Hunger Games and Divergent trilogies are fiction, which occurs in a post-apocalyptic future. A third broad literary genre is nonfiction. If fiction is fake, then nonfiction is the opposite. It comes from real life. Works of nonfiction are all based in real-world experiences. When you read the newspaper, you are reading nonfiction. Other examples include journals, diaries, biographies, autobiographies, and essays.